Welcome to Woo English, where we journey through captivating stories to help you learn English. Our tales are crafted with clear, simple sentences, designed to engage and inspire learners at all levels. Today's story features Tucker, a journalist whose career takes us through twists and turns, challenges and triumphs, all while showcasing the power of persistence, innovation and integrity. As you immerse yourself in Tucker's world, we encourage you to share your thoughts, write a comment, and if you enjoy the journey, don't forget to hit the like button. Let's embark on this adventure together, enhancing your English skills, one story at a time. Chapter 1. The Early Years In a small town, where everyone knew each other's name, Tucker grew up with big dreams and a curious mind. From a young age, he was fascinated by the stories he heard on the radio and saw on the TV. The people in those stories seemed to live in a different world, and Tucker wanted to be part of that world one day. Tucker's early life was filled with the simple joys of small-town living, he played with his friends in the open fields, rode his bike down the winding roads, and helped his parents with chores at home. But when the day was done, Tucker always found himself drawn to the stories his grandparents told him. Stories of far-off places, great adventures, and people who made a difference in the world. His family wasn't wealthy, and they didn't have much in the way of luxury, Tucker's parents worked hard to provide for him and his siblings. His mother was a teacher and his father ran a small business. They taught Tucker the value of hard work, honesty and kindness. These values stayed with Tucker as he grew older and started to dream of his future. School was a place where Tucker felt both challenged and inspired. He loved learning about history and the way the world worked. He was especially interested in stories of journalists who travelled the world, uncovering truths and sharing them with others. Tucker knew that he wanted to be like them. He wanted to tell stories that mattered, stories that could change the world. However, life wasn't always easy for Tucker. Being from a small town, resources were limited and opportunities to explore his interest in journalism were scarce. He often felt frustrated, feeling like his dreams were too big for the small town he lived in. But Tucker was determined. He read every book he could find on journalism and writing. He practiced writing stories, imitating the styles of journalists he admired. Tucker's determination didn't go unnoticed. His teachers saw his passion and encouraged him to pursue his dreams. They told him about scholarships and programs in big cities that could help him reach his goals. Tucker listened, and he worked even harder. He knew that to leave his small town and make a difference in the world, he needed to excel. High school was a turning point for Tucker. He became the editor of the school newspaper, a position that gave him a taste of what being a journalist was like. He loved the rush of finding a story, researching it, and seeing his words in print. He knew this was what he was meant to do. But not everyone believed in Tucker's dreams. Some people told him that coming from a small town, he would never make it in the big world of journalism. They said he was dreaming too big, that he should be more realistic. But Tucker didn't listen to the doubters. Instead, he used their doubt as fuel to push himself even harder. He applied for scholarships, wrote essays, and eventually his hard work paid off. Tucker received a scholarship to a college in the city, a place where he could finally pursue his dream of becoming a journalist. Leaving his small town was bittersweet for Tucker. He was excited to start his new life, but sad to leave his family and the only home he had ever known. His parents were proud of him, and on the day he left, they gave him a piece of advice that he would never forget. They told him, Remember where you come from, but don't be afraid to go where your dreams take you. In the city, Tucker faced new challenges. 
College was harder than he expected, and the pace of city life was overwhelming at first. But Tucker was determined. He studied hard, made new friends, and began to find his place in the world of journalism. He interned at newspapers and radio stations, learning the ropes and gaining valuable experience. As Tucker's college years went by, he grew more confident in his abilities. He knew that the road ahead would be tough, that the world of journalism was competitive and sometimes unforgiving. But Tucker was ready. He had faced challenges before, and he knew he could face them again. With determination, hard work, and a never-give-up attitude, Tucker was ready to chase his dreams, no matter how big they were. Tucker's early years in that small town had shaped him in ways he never could have imagined. They gave him the foundation he needed to face the world. The values his parents taught him, the encouragement he received from his teachers, and the challenges he overcame all played a part in making him the person he was destined to become. Tucker knew that his journey was just beginning, and he couldn't wait to see where it would take him. Chapter 2 the Call to Journalism Tucker's journey into the world of journalism started in a way that he never expected. It was a regular day in his small town, but that day changed Tucker's life forever. He was walking home from school when he saw something that caught his eye. There was a group of people gathered in the town square, listening to a man speak. The man was a journalist from the city, talking about the power of storytelling and how it can change the world. Tucker was mesmerized. He stood at the back of the crowd, hanging on to every word the journalist said. It was in that moment Tucker realized what he wanted to do with his life. He wanted to be a journalist. From that day on, Tucker's life took a new direction. He started to read the newspaper every day, not just the stories about far-off places and important people, but also the stories about ordinary people doing extraordinary things. He realized that journalism wasn't just about reporting facts. It was about telling stories that mattered, stories that could inspire, educate, and sometimes even change the course of history. Tucker began to write his own stories. He wrote about everything he saw around him, the beauty of the changing seasons, the struggles and triumphs of people in his town, and even his own dreams and aspirations. Writing became Tucker's way of expressing himself, of making sense of the world around him. But he knew that if he wanted to become a journalist, he had to learn more, do more. So Tucker started a small newspaper for his school. It was a modest project, but it was his. He gathered a team of friends who shared his passion, and together, they reported on school events, interviewed teachers and students, and even tackled some of the bigger issues affecting their community. Tucker's little newspaper became a hit. It wasn't just the students reading it. Teachers and parents were impressed too. Tucker felt proud, but he also knew this was just the beginning. Despite his passion and early successes, Tucker faced skepticism. Some people in his town believed journalism was a risky career, one that could lead to disappointment or even danger. They told Tucker to consider a more sensible path. But Tucker was undeterred. He had found his calling, and he was ready to face any challenge that came his way. Tucker's determination to pursue journalism took him beyond his school newspaper he started to explore the wider world of media. He learned about different types of journalism, from investigative reporting to feature writing, from photojournalism to broadcast journalism. The more he learned, the more excited he became about the possibilities that lay ahead. But Tucker knew that to really make it in journalism, he needed to leave his small town and go to college. He needed to study journalism at a higher level, to learn from the best, and to be where the action was. This realization was both thrilling and terrifying. 
Leaving home meant stepping out of his comfort zone, leaving behind everything familiar, and facing a world of unknowns. As Tucker prepared to leave for college, he felt a mix of emotions. He was excited about the future, but also worried about leaving his family and friends behind. He wondered if he was making the right decision, if he was good enough to succeed in the competitive world of journalism. But whenever doubt crept in, Tucker reminded himself of the journalist he had heard speak in the town square. That moment had sparked a fire in him, a fire that had grown into a burning passion for journalism. College was a whole new world for Tucker. He was surrounded by people from different backgrounds, with different stories to tell. He was challenged in ways he had never been before, both academically and personally. But Tucker thrived in this environment. He soaked up everything he could learn about journalism, from the ethics of reporting to the craft of writing. He worked on the college newspaper, honing his skills and building his portfolio. He also took internships, gaining real-world experience and making connections in the industry. Tucker's college years were a time of growth and discovery. He learned not just about journalism, but about himself. He learned that he had a voice and that his stories could make a difference. He also learned that journalism was not just a career, it was a responsibility. It was about seeking the truth, holding power to account, and giving a voice to the voiceless. Chapter 3. The First Break After years of hard work and dreaming big, Tucker's moment finally arrived. He landed his first job in journalism, a moment he had been waiting for all his life. It wasn't a big fancy job at a national newspaper, or a prime time slot on television. But to Tucker, it was the start of something huge. He was going to be a junior reporter at a local newspaper in the city. For Tucker, this was his door into the world of media, his first real step towards becoming the journalist he had always wanted to be. The local newspaper was small, but respected in the community. It had a reputation for telling the truth and shining a light on stories that mattered to the people. Tucker felt proud to be part of such a team, even if he was just starting out. On his first day, he walked into the office with a mix of excitement and nerves. The newsroom was buzzing with energy. Phones were ringing, keyboards were clicking, and there was a constant hum of conversation. Tucker felt like he was exactly where he was meant to be. His first assignment was to cover a local community event. It wasn't a groundbreaking story, but Tucker approached it with all the seriousness and dedication of a seasoned journalist. He interviewed people, took notes, and wrote his article with care. When his piece was published in the newspaper, Tucker felt a thrill unlike anything he had ever experienced. Seeing his name in print, knowing that people all over the city would read his words, was deeply satisfying. Tucker's job at the local newspaper was demanding. He worked long hours, sometimes late into the night to meet deadlines. He covered everything from city council meetings to school board elections, from charity events to small business openings, each story was an opportunity to learn, to improve his skills, and to connect with the community. Tucker was determined to make the most of every opportunity. He wanted to prove himself, to show that he had what it takes to be a great journalist. One day, Tucker was given the chance to cover a more significant story. There had been a series of unexplained incidents in the city, and Tucker was assigned to investigate. This was his first big break, a chance to do some real investigative journalism. Tucker threw himself into the story, spending days researching, interviewing witnesses, and following leads. It was challenging work, but Tucker was driven by a desire to uncover the truth. The story turned out to be a big one. Tucker's article exposed a major issue that had been overlooked by the city officials, bringing it to the attention of the public 
and prompting action. The article was a hit, earning praise from readers and recognition from his peers in the journalism community. Tucker had made a difference, and that felt incredible. With each story he covered, Tucker grew more confident in his abilities. He learned the importance of accuracy, integrity, and fairness in journalism. He also learned that being a journalist meant being on the front lines of history, witnessing events that would shape the future. It was a responsibility Tucker took seriously. As Tucker's reputation grew, so did the opportunities. He began to cover more significant stories, stories that had an impact on the city and beyond. He interviewed important figures, uncovered scandals, and reported on critical issues. With every article he wrote, Tucker felt like he was moving closer to his dream of making a real difference in the world through journalism. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Tucker faced challenges too. He had to deal with difficult sources, navigate the complexities of political reporting, and sometimes face criticism from those who didn't like what he wrote. But Tucker didn't let these challenges deter him. Instead, they made him a stronger, more determined journalist. Tucker's first job in journalism was more than just a job. It was a learning experience, a chance to prove himself, and a stepping stone to bigger things. He made mistakes, but he also had successes. He learned. He grew and he never lost sight of why he wanted to be a journalist in the first place. To tell stories that mattered, to seek the truth, and to make a difference. Looking back on those early days, Tucker knew that landing his first job in journalism was just the beginning. The world of media was vast and ever-changing, and Tucker was ready to see where his journey would take him next. He was no longer just a dreamer from a small town. He was a journalist, and his adventure was just getting started. Chapter 4 Rising Through the Ranks Tucker's journey in the world of journalism was beginning to pick up speed. After his big break at the local newspaper, he was no longer just another face in the newsroom. People started to recognize his name, and with that recognition came new opportunities and, of course, new challenges. Tucker knew that if he wanted to climb the ranks in the competitive media industry, he had to be more than just a good journalist. He needed to understand the industry inside and out, to anticipate changes and adapt to them. He spent his evening studying the trends in media, learning about digital journalism, and understanding the power of social media in shaping public opinion. As the media landscape evolved, so did Tucker. He started a blog to share his thoughts on journalism, and the stories he was passionate about. His blog gained a following, and Tucker's voice began to stand out in the crowded space of online media. This digital presence opened doors for him that he hadn't even known existed. One day, Tucker received an offer from a larger newspaper in a bigger city. It was the kind of opportunity he had been dreaming of, a chance to reach a wider audience and cover more significant stories. He accepted the offer without hesitation, ready to take on this new challenge. Moving to a bigger city and working for a larger newspaper was a huge step for Tucker. The pace was faster, the stakes were higher, and the competition was tougher. But Tucker thrived under pressure. He brought fresh ideas to the table, pitched new story angles, and wasn't afraid to tackle complex issues. His articles started to make waves, attracting attention not just from the public, but also from other journalists and media professionals. Tucker's rise through the ranks wasn't just about his talent as a journalist. It was also about his ability to connect with people. He had a knack for getting sources to open up to him, for building relationships that would lead to exclusive stories. Tucker knew that trust was the currency of journalism, and he earned it with every story he told but success didn't come without its setbacks. Tucker faced criticism, 
both from those who disagreed with his reporting and from those who envied his success. There were times when the pressure seemed too much, when the challenges of navigating the media industry felt overwhelming. But Tucker never lost sight of why he became a journalist in the first place, to tell stories that mattered. Tucker's determination to succeed was matched only by his commitment to integrity. He knew that in journalism, credibility was everything. He made sure to double-check his facts, to report with fairness and accuracy, and to never let the pursuit of a good story compromise his ethics. As Tucker continued to rise through the ranks, he started to mentor younger journalists, sharing with them the lessons he had learned. He remembered how important guidance and encouragement had been to him when he was starting out, and he wanted to give back. Tucker's journey was a testament to the power of hard work, determination, and a commitment to truth. He had started from a small town, with big dreams of making a difference in the world through journalism. And now, here he was, making those dreams a reality. With each story he reported, Tucker not only informed the public, but also sparked conversations about important issues. He became known not just for the stories he told, but for how he told them, with compassion, with empathy, and with a deep understanding of the human experience. As Tucker navigated the complexities of the media industry, he never forgot where he came from. He carried the values he learned in his small town with him, using them to guide his decisions and shape his career. Tucker's rise through the ranks wasn't just a personal achievement. It was a reflection of his belief in the power of journalism to change the world for the better. Tucker's story was far from over. The media industry continued to change, and Tucker changed with it, always looking for new ways to tell stories that mattered. He knew that the path ahead would have its ups and downs, but he was ready for whatever came his way. Tucker had proven to himself and to the world that, with determination and integrity, it was possible to rise through the ranks and make a mark on the world of journalism. Chapter 5. A Voice Emerges As Tucker's career in journalism blossomed, something remarkable began to happen. He started to find his own voice, a unique perspective that resonated with readers across the nation. It wasn't just his reporting skills that were getting him noticed now. It was the way he saw the world, the depth with which he understood issues, and his ability to articulate complex ideas in a way that was both engaging and accessible. Tucker's voice emerged at a time when the media landscape was crowded with information and misinformation from all sides. People were searching for clarity, for voices they could trust to make sense of the world around them. Tucker became one of those trusted voices. His articles went beyond just reporting the news. They delved into the heart of national issues, asking tough questions and exploring the nuances of every story. This new phase of Tucker's career was marked by a series of articles that captured the nation's attention. He wrote about economic inequality, environmental challenges, and the complexities of the political landscape. But what set Tucker's work apart was not just the topics he chose, but the way he approached them. He wrote with empathy, always striving to understand the people behind the stories, to bring their experiences to life for his readers. Tucker's unique perspective was shaped by his own journey, from a small town to the heart of the media industry. He never lost his sense of curiosity, his desire to understand the world in all its complexity. This curiosity drove him to dig deeper into every story, to look beyond the surface and explore the underlying causes of the issues he reported on. As Tucker's voice grew stronger, so did his influence. His articles sparked discussions, influenced public opinion, 
and sometimes even led to real change. People began to recognize his name, to seek out his work, and to listen to what he had to say. Tucker was no longer just a journalist. He was a commentator, a thought leader, someone whose insights into national issues were valued by readers and fellow journalists alike. But with recognition came responsibility. Tucker was acutely aware of the power of his words, of the impact they could have on the world. He took this responsibility seriously, always striving to be fair, to report the truth, and to give voice to those who were often overlooked by the media. Tucker believed that journalism was not just about informing the public, but about making a difference, about contributing to the betterment of society. Tucker's emergence as a voice of reason and insight did not happen overnight. It was the result of years of hard work, of constantly challenging himself to be better, to learn more, and to understand deeper. It was also the result of his willingness to take risks, to write about difficult topics, and to express his own views, even when they were not popular. As Tucker's career progressed, he began to use his platform to advocate for issues he cared about deeply. He wrote about the importance of freedom of the press, about the need for transparency in government, and about the power of storytelling to bring about change. Tucker's voice became a force for good, a reminder of the vital role that journalism plays in a democratic society. Tucker's journey from a junior reporter at a local newspaper to a respected commentator on national issues was a testament to his talent, his determination and his integrity. But for Tucker, the journey was not just about personal achievement. It was about fulfilling his mission as a journalist, about using his voice to shed light on the truth, to challenge the powerful and to tell stories that needed to be told. As Tucker continued to write, to speak out and to make his voice heard, he inspired others to do the same. He showed that journalism was not just a profession but a calling a way to make a difference in the world. And as his voice emerged, so did the voices of countless others, inspired by Tucker's example to seek the truth, to ask hard questions, and to tell the stories that matter. Chapter 5 A Voice Emerges In the bustling world of journalism, Tucker began to carve out a space for himself, a space where his voice could be heard loud and clear, it was a voice that brought a fresh perspective to the national discourse, a perspective that resonated with many. Tucker wasn't just reporting the news anymore. He was shaping the conversation, touching on issues that mattered deeply to the heart of the nation. His journey to this point hadn't been straightforward. It was paved with challenges, long nights, and relentless dedication. But Tucker had a passion for storytelling, and more importantly, he had something to say. He dove into national issues with a keen eye and an open heart, writing stories that didn't just inform, but also provoked thought and sparked dialogue. Tucker's unique perspective didn't emerge out of nowhere. It was the result of his varied experiences, from his humble beginnings in a small town to the fast-paced life of a city journalist. These experiences gave him a broad view of the world, allowing him to relate to a wide range of people and their stories. He understood the struggles of the everyday person and the complexities of the issues facing the nation. This understanding became the foundation of his voice, a voice that spoke with empathy and insight. As Tucker's reputation grew, so did the platforms for his voice. He was invited to speak on panels, to contribute to major publications, and to appear on television. People wanted to hear what Tucker had to say, and he was more than willing to share his insights. But Tucker never forgot the responsibility that came with his growing influence. He knew that his words had the power to shape opinions, to highlight injustices, and to bring about change. 
He took this responsibility seriously, ensuring that his work was always rooted in truth and fairness. One of the defining moments in Tucker's career came when he tackled a particularly contentious issue. It was a topic that many avoided, but Tucker saw it as his duty to shed light on the matter. He spent months researching, interviewing and writing. The resulting article was a masterpiece of journalism, combining rigorous investigation with compelling narrative. It didn't just report the facts, it told a story that needed to be heard. The article made waves across the country. It was discussed on news shows, shared on social media and debated in classrooms. Tucker received both praise and criticism, but he remained undeterred. He knew that journalism wasn't about seeking approval. It was about speaking truth to power and giving a voice to the voiceless. Tucker's work on this story and others like it solidified his place as a respected voice in journalism. He was no longer just another journalist. He was a trusted source of insight and analysis. People turned to Tucker's work for clarity in an often confusing world. His ability to cut through the noise and get to the heart of an issue was unparalleled. But Tucker's rise to prominence was not without its challenges. The more visible he became, the more scrutiny he faced. He had to navigate the pitfalls of fame, the pressure to always be right, and the constant demand for his attention. Yet, Tucker remained focused on his mission. He continued to approach his work with the same dedication and integrity that had brought him this far. As Tucker's voice emerged, it became clear that he was not just reporting on national issues. He was influencing the national conversation. His articles didn't just end on the last sentence. They lived on in the discussions they sparked, in the policies they influenced, and in the lives they touched. Tucker's journey from a small-town boy with big dreams to a prominent voice in journalism was a testament to the power of persistence, passion, and principle. He showed that with hard work and a commitment to truth, it was possible to make a meaningful impact on the world. In the end, Tucker's voice was more than just his own. It was a reflection of the stories he told, the people he met, and the issues he brought to light. It was a voice that emerged not for personal glory, but for the greater good. And as Tucker continued to write, to speak, and to share his perspective, his voice only grew stronger, inspiring others to listen, to think, and to engage with the world around them in a more thoughtful and compassionate way. Chapter 6 The Television Debut The day Tucker stepped into the bright lights of a television studio for the first time marked a new chapter in his already impressive career. This wasn't just any debut. It was the beginning of Tucker's journey into the world of broadcast journalism, a platform that would bring his voice and his stories to an even wider audience. Tucker's transition from print journalism to television wasn't without its challenges. The skills that had made him a successful newspaper journalist, his knack for digging deep into stories, his way with words, were still valuable, but television added a new layer to storytelling. Now, Tucker had to learn how to convey his message not just through words, but through his presence, his demeanor, and his ability to engage with the camera. The first time Tucker stood in front of a camera, script in hand, ready to deliver his report, he felt a mix of excitement and nerves. The studio was a whirlwind of activity, with producers giving last-minute instructions, technicians adjusting the lighting, and the constant hum of machinery in the background. It was a far cry from the quiet concentration of writing in front of a computer screen, or interviewing sources in the field. Now, Tucker had to deliver his report with confidence and clarity, connecting with viewers he could not see, drawing them into the story with his words and his presence. Tucker's debut on television was not just a personal milestone, it was also a test. He had to prove that he could adapt to this new medium, 
that he could hold his own in the fast-paced world of broadcast news. The story he was reporting on was a complex one, involving a local controversy that had national implications. Tucker had spent weeks researching the story, interviewing key figures and verifying every fact. He knew the story inside out, but now he had to distill it into a few minutes of television, making it accessible and compelling to viewers. When the red light on the camera blinked on, signalling that he was live, Tucker took a deep breath and began to speak. His voice was steady, his delivery confident. He laid out the facts of the story, highlighted the key issues, and presented the differing viewpoints with fairness and balance. As he spoke, Tucker found his rhythm, the initial nerves giving way to the familiar thrill of storytelling. The response to Tucker's television debut was overwhelmingly positive. Viewers appreciated his clear, insightful analysis, and his colleagues praised his professionalism and poise. Tucker had successfully bridged the gap between print and television journalism, bringing his unique voice to a new medium. But Tucker's success on television was not just about his ability to adapt to a different format, it was also a testament to his dedication to journalism, to his belief in the power of stories to inform, to challenge, and to inspire. Whether in print or on screen, Tucker remained committed to uncovering the truth, to holding the powerful accountable, and to giving voice to the voiceless. As Tucker's career in television journalism progressed, he faced new challenges and opportunities. He traveled to report on stories from around the country and the world, bringing global issues to the living rooms of his viewers. He interviewed politicians, activists, and ordinary people, each time bringing the same depth of inquiry and empathy that had marked his work in print. With each broadcast, Tucker honed his skills, becoming not just a reporter, but a trusted figure in the world of news. His transition to television had opened up new avenues for his storytelling, allowing him to reach out and touch the lives of millions in a direct and personal way. Tucker's television debut was more than just a career milestone. It was a reminder of the evolving nature of journalism, of the need for journalists to adapt and grow with the changing media landscape. It was also a testament to Tucker's unwavering dedication to his craft, to his determination to bring stories that matter to as wide an audience as possible. Looking back on that first day in front of the camera, Tucker could see how far he had come. From a young reporter with big dreams to a seasoned journalist making his mark on television, Tucker's journey was a story of perseverance, of adapting to new challenges, and of the relentless pursuit of truth. It was a story that was still unfolding, with each broadcast adding a new chapter to an already remarkable career. Chapter 7. Facing Controversy In the whirlwind of Tucker's career, a storm was brewing, one that would test his resolve and challenge his commitment to journalism like never before. It all started with a story, a big one that Tucker stumbled upon. This wasn't just any story. It was the kind that could shake the foundations of powerful institutions and spark nationwide debates. Tucker knew the risks involved in pursuing this story, but he also knew the importance of bringing the truth to light. As Tucker delved deeper into his investigation, the stakes kept getting higher. He uncovered evidence of wrongdoing at the highest levels, evidence that some people would do anything to keep hidden. The more he uncovered, the more resistance he faced. There were threats and warnings, attempts to discredit his work, and pressure to drop the story. But Tucker, guided by his principles and his unwavering commitment to journalism, pressed on. The day the story was published, the reaction was explosive. Tucker's report sent shockwaves through the public and the corridors of power. It sparked heated debates, led to calls for accountability, and put Tucker in the spotlight, not all of it favourable. 
the controversy surrounding the story was intense. Tucker found himself at the centre of a storm of criticism and scrutiny. Some hailed him as a hero, a champion of the truth, while others accused him of bias, of overstepping the bounds of journalism. Facing controversy is a lonely road, and Tucker felt the weight of the world on his shoulders. Doubts crept in, and the pressure was immense. He questioned his decisions, wondered if he had gone too far in pursuit of the story. It was a moment of reckoning. A time when Tucker had to look deep within and ask himself why he had chosen this path. But in the midst of the storm, Tucker found strength in the core principles that had guided him from the beginning. Integrity, courage, and a commitment to the truth. He reminded himself that journalism was not about seeking approval or avoiding controversy. It was about shedding light on the shadows, about giving voice to the voiceless and holding the powerful to account. This belief, this commitment to the ideals of journalism, became Tucker's anchor, keeping him steady in the turbulent waters of controversy. The controversy also sparked a broader conversation about the role of journalism in society. Tucker's story became a case study in journalism ethics, discussed in classrooms and newsrooms around the world. It raised important questions about the balance between public interest and privacy, about the responsibility of journalists to report the truth, and about the courage it takes to stand up against powerful adversaries. Through it all, Tucker learned valuable lessons. He learned that facing controversy is an inevitable part of standing up for what you believe in. He learned that the path of a journalist is fraught with challenges, but also with the potential to make a real difference. And perhaps most importantly, he learned the importance of resilience, of staying true to one's principles in the face of adversity. As the controversy eventually subsided, Tucker emerged stronger, more determined, and more committed to his craft. The experience had tested him, but it had also reaffirmed his faith in journalism. He knew that he would face challenges again, but he also knew that he had the strength and the conviction to overcome them. Tucker's experience with controversy was a defining moment in his career, a reminder of both the power and the responsibility of the press. It was a chapter in his story that would stay with him, shaping his approach to journalism and reinforcing his commitment to truth, integrity and the pursuit of justice. In the end, Tucker's journey through the storm of controversy was not just about the challenges he faced. It was about the impact of his work, about sparking change and fostering a more informed and engaged public. It was a testament to the belief that journalism, at its best, can be a force for good, a tool for uncovering the truth and holding the powerful to account. And Tucker, with his resolve tested and his commitment unwavering, continued on his path, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, armed with the knowledge that truth, ultimately, is worth fighting for. Chapter 8 The Power of Persistence Ernie of life, persistence is often the key that unlocks doors to unimaginable success. This was certainly true for Tucker, whose career in journalism was a testament to the power of never giving up. Despite facing numerous challenges, Tucker's unwavering commitment to his craft led to significant milestones that not only defined his career, but also made a substantial impact on the field of journalism. After navigating through the storm of controversy, Tucker could have easily decided to step back, to choose a safer path. But that was not who he was. Tucker was driven by a desire to make a difference, to use journalism as a tool to uncover the truth and to inform the public. This drive, this passion, was what kept him going, even when the going got tough. Tucker's persistence began to pay off in more ways than one. He was recognized for his outstanding contributions to journalism, with several awards. These awards were a validation of his hard work and a testament to the importance of sticking to one's principles. 
but for Tucker, the accolades were not just personal achievements. They were a reminder of the impact that diligent, ethical journalism could have on society. One of the most significant milestones in Tucker's career came when he was given the opportunity to lead an investigative team at a major national news outlet. This was a dream come true for Tucker, a chance to use his skills and his platform to delve deeper into stories that mattered. Leading the team, Tucker inspired his colleagues with his dedication and his work ethic. Together they broke stories that had a profound impact on the public discourse, stories that led to policy changes and even legal reforms. The work was demanding, often requiring long hours and painstaking research. There were times when progress seemed slow, when obstacles seemed insurmountable. But Tucker's persistence served as a beacon for his team. He encouraged them to keep digging, to keep asking questions, and to never settle for anything less than the full story. His belief in the power of journalism to effect change was infectious, and it motivated his team to push through the challenges. Tucker's persistence also taught him the value of patience. He learned that some stories take time to unfold, that the truth does not always come out easily. There were investigations that took months, even years, to complete. But Tucker was willing to wait, to put in the time and effort required, because he knew that the stories worth telling were often the hardest to tell. As Tucker's career progressed, he became known not just for his investigative skills, but also for his ability to mentor young journalists. He remembered the challenges he faced when he was starting out, and he was determined to help others navigate the complex world of journalism. Tucker shared his experiences, offering advice and guidance to those who were just beginning their journey. His persistence had not only led to his own success, it was now inspiring a new generation of journalists to pursue their passion with the same determination and integrity. The power of persistence was evident in every aspect of Tucker's career. It was what drove him to seek out the truth, to tell stories that others might shy away from, and to continue pushing forward, even in the face of adversity. Tucker's journey was a reminder that success is not just about talent or luck. It's about showing up day after day, committed to doing the work, committed to making a difference. Tucker's legacy in journalism was not just the stories he told, but the example he set. He showed that with persistence, with a commitment to excellence, and with a belief in the importance of journalism, it was possible to overcome challenges and make a lasting impact. Tucker's career was a tribute to the power of not giving up, a message that resonated with his colleagues, his readers, and young journalists everywhere. As Tucker looked back on his journey, he knew that the road had not always been easy. But every challenge, every setback, had been an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to reaffirm his commitment to his craft. Tucker's persistence had paid off, not just in awards and accolades, but in the knowledge that he had stayed true to himself and his mission as a journalist. And in the end, that was the greatest milestone of all. Chapter 9. A New Platform In the ever-evolving journey of Tucker's career, a thrilling new chapter was about to begin. After years of making his mark in the traditional realms of journalism, an opportunity emerged that promised to catapult Tucker into uncharted territories. He was offered the chance to create and host his own show on a digital platform, a space where the boundaries of storytelling could be pushed further than ever before. This new platform was different from anything Tucker had worked with in the past. It was a place where innovation thrived, where audiences sought not just news, but stories told with depth, creativity and personal touch. For Tucker, this was an exciting challenge, an opportunity to blend his journalistic integrity with the limitless possibilities of digital media. As Tucker embarked on this new venture, 
he was fueled by a blend of excitement and determination. He envisioned a show that would not only inform, but also engage and inspire its audience. This wouldn't be just another news program. It would be a platform for in-depth discussions, for stories that delve into the nuances of major issues, for voices that are often unheard. Creating the show was a monumental task. Tucker was involved in every aspect, from conceptualizing the format to selecting the topics and guests. He wanted to ensure that the show reflected his vision of what journalism could be in the digital age. Dynamic, interactive, and deeply human. One of the first decisions Tucker made was to focus on storytelling. He believed that at the heart of every issue, there's a story that can connect with people on a personal level. Tucker's show would highlight these stories, bringing to light the human experiences behind the headlines. This approach resonated with audiences who were drawn to the show's ability to make complex issues relatable and understandable. Another key element of Tucker's new platform was the freedom to engage directly with his audience. The digital format allowed for real-time interactions, feedback, and discussions. Tucker embraced this, encouraging viewers to share their thoughts and experiences, making the show a two-way conversation. This engagement added a rich layer to the show, making it not just a source of information, but a community where diverse perspectives could be shared and respected. As the show gained popularity, Tucker realized the power of the digital platform to reach a global audience. People from different parts of the world were tuning in, drawn by the show's unique blend of storytelling, analysis and engagement. This global reach was something Tucker had dreamed of, a way to connect with people across borders, to bring global issues to a wider audience, and to highlight stories that are often overlooked in mainstream media. The success of the show also brought new opportunities for collaboration. Tucker partnered with experts, activists, and other journalists to bring a wide range of voices to the show. These collaborations enriched the content, providing viewers with a multifaceted view of the issues being discussed. It was a testament to Tucker's belief in the importance of diversity in journalism of listening to and learning from different perspectives. Transitioning to this new platform was not without its challenges. Tucker had to navigate the complexities of digital media to learn new skills and to adapt to a rapidly changing landscape. But his persistence, his commitment to storytelling and his passion for journalism drove the show forward. With each episode, Tucker and his team pushed the boundaries of what was possible, experimenting with new formats, new technologies, and new ways of engaging with the audience. Tucker's venture into digital media was a bold move, one that paid off in ways he had never imagined. It allowed him to create a show that was truly his own, to shape the content and the conversation, and to reach people in every corner of the globe. This new platform was more than just a place to share news. It was a space where journalism met innovation, where stories could come alive in new and exciting ways. Looking back on this chapter of his career, Tucker saw it as a pivotal moment, a time when he embraced change and took a leap into the unknown. It was a reminder of the ever-evolving nature of journalism, of the need to adapt, to innovate, and to find new ways to tell stories that matter. Tucker's journey to this new platform was not just about reaching a wider audience. It was about reimagining what journalism could be in the digital age. And as he looked to the future, Tucker was excited for the possibilities that lay ahead, ready to continue exploring, learning, and telling the stories that would inform, engage, and inspire. Chapter 10. The Art of Debate Tucker's journey into the world of digital media brought many opportunities, but it also introduced new challenges. Among the most demanding 
was mastering the art of debate. On his show, Tucker often found himself in discussions with people who held opposing views. These moments were not just tests of his journalistic skills, but also of his character and his commitment to open, respectful dialogue. Preparation was key to Tucker's approach to debate. Before each show, he immersed himself in research, diving deep into the topic at hand. He didn't just focus on one side, he explored every angle, understanding the arguments, the counter-arguments, and the nuances in between. Tucker believed that, to effectively engage in debate, he needed to be as informed as possible, not just about his own stance, but also about the perspectives of those he disagreed with. Tucker also prepared by anticipating the points his guests might raise. He thought carefully about their likely arguments, and he planned his responses, ensuring they were rooted in facts and evidence. But Tucker's preparation went beyond just gathering information. He also focused on the emotional and psychological aspects of debate. He knew that keeping calm and maintaining respect were crucial, especially in heated discussions. He practiced staying composed, reminding himself that the goal was not to win, but to understand and to enlighten. When disagreements arose on air, Tucker handled them with grace and professionalism. He listened carefully to his guests, giving them the space to express their views without interruption. Tucker believed that everyone deserved to be heard, no matter how much he might disagree with them. This respect for his guests, even in disagreement, set the tone for the debates on his show. It created an atmosphere where ideas could be exchanged openly, where dialogue was encouraged rather than stifled. Tucker's approach to handling disagreements was not about diminishing the other side, but about seeking common ground. He often started by acknowledging the points he agreed with before delving into the areas of disagreement. This strategy helped to lower defences, making it easier for both sides to engage in a meaningful conversation. Tucker knew that finding common ground did not mean compromising his beliefs. Rather, it was a way to build bridges, to foster understanding and respect. Despite his thorough preparation, debates on Tucker's show were unpredictable. There were moments of tension, times when emotions ran high. In these moments, Tucker's commitment to respectful dialogue was tested. But he remained steadfast, guided by his belief in the power of civil discourse. He navigated these challenging situations by focusing on the issues, steering the conversation away from personal attacks and back to the topic at hand. Tucker also used humour and empathy to diffuse tension. He understood that laughter could soften the hardest of disagreements and that showing empathy could create a connection, even with those who held opposing views. Tucker's ability to use humour and empathy did not undermine the seriousness of the debates. Instead, it made them more accessible, more human, the art of debate on Tucker's show was not just about discussing differing opinions, it was about modelling how those discussions could be conducted in society at large. Tucker's approach, rooted in preparation, respect, and a genuine desire to understand, offered a blueprint for civil discourse. It showed that it was possible to disagree without being disagreeable, to challenge without being confrontational. Through his mastery of the art of debate, Tucker not only enhanced his own show, but also contributed to a broader conversation about the importance of dialogue in a democratic society. He demonstrated that in a world often divided, by sharp disagreements, there was still room for conversation, for listening, and for learning from one another. Tucker's approach to debate became one of the defining features of his career. It was a reflection of his values as a journalist and as a person. And as he continued to engage in debates, to challenge and be challenged, Tucker remained committed to the principles that had guided him from the beginning. Integrity, respect, 
and the unyielding pursuit of truth. Chapter 11 Personal Reflections Behind the professional success and public persona of Tucker, there lies a story of personal journeys, relationships, and the influences that shaped the man he became. Delving into Tucker's personal life offers a window into the experiences and people that have contributed to his character, his values, and his approach to journalism. Tucker's story starts in a small town, where community and family laid the foundation for his values. Growing up, Tucker was deeply influenced by his parents, who instilled in him the importance of hard work, honesty, and compassion. His father, a small business owner, taught Tucker the value of perseverance and integrity in all endeavors. His mother, a teacher, nurtured in him a love for learning and a deep respect for the power of education. These lessons from his early years stayed with Tucker, guiding him as he navigated the complexities of his career. Another significant influence in Tucker's life was his grandfather, a veteran journalist who regaled young Tucker with stories from his reporting days. These tales of uncovering truths and holding the powerful to account sparked Tucker's initial interest in journalism. His grandfather's legacy was not just in the stories he told, but in the principles he lived by. Courage, curiosity, and a commitment to justice. Tucker looked up to his grandfather, not just as a journalist, but as a role model for the kind of man he wanted to become. As Tucker ventured into the world of journalism, he encountered mentors who shaped his professional path. There was the seasoned editor at his first newspaper job who taught him the ropes of reporting and the importance of diligence in every story. And there was the veteran broadcaster who guided Tucker as he made his transition to television, showing him how to use the medium to connect with audiences on a deeper level. These mentors saw potential in Tucker, challenging him to push his boundaries and helping him hone his craft. Personal relationships also played a crucial role in Tucker's life. Friends who knew him before he became a public figure provided a grounding influence, reminding him of where he came from and who he was at his core. They were his sounding board, offering support during challenging times and celebrating his successes as if they were their own. Tucker's family, too, was a pillar of support. His partner, a constant presence in his life, offered love, encouragement and perspective, helping Tucker navigate the pressures of a public career while staying true to himself. Throughout his journey, Tucker faced personal challenges that tested his resilience. There were moments of doubt, times when the weight of public scrutiny seemed too much to bear. But it was in these moments that Tucker's character was forged. He learned the importance of self-reflection, of taking time to connect with his own values and aspirations. These periods of introspection were not just about overcoming challenges, but about growing as a person, about understanding what it means to live a life of purpose. Tucker's personal reflections reveal a man who is more than just a journalist. They show someone who values relationships, who is guided by the lessons of his past, and who strives to make a difference, not just in his professional work, but in his personal life as well. The people who influenced Tucker, his family, his mentors, his friends, contributed to the depth of his character, enriching his life and, by extension, his work. In sharing his personal journey, Tucker offers an important reminder. Behind every public persona, there's a personal story, a tapestry of experiences and relationships that shape who we are. For Tucker, these personal reflections are not just a look back at the path he's traveled. They're a celebration of the people who have walked that path with him shaping the man he is today. And as Tucker continues forward, these personal reflections serve as a guiding light, reminding him of the values and connections that matter most. Chapter 12. Navigating Fame. 
As Tucker's career soared to new heights, so did his fame. What once was a dream of reaching a wide audience and making an impact through journalism had become a reality. But with this success came the complex, often daunting reality of fame. Tucker found himself navigating a world where his every word and action were scrutinized, where the boundary between his public persona and his private life blurred. The impact of fame on Tucker's personal life was profound. Simple pleasures, like a quiet dinner with family or a walk in the park, became challenging. Recognized wherever he went, Tucker had to learn how to balance the public's interest with his own need for privacy. He cherished his relationships with friends and family, connections that kept him grounded amid the whirlwind of public attention. These moments of normalcy became precious, a reminder of who he was beyond the television screen and the headlines. Professionally, fame brought opportunities Tucker had only dreamed of. He was invited to speak at major events, his articles were read by millions, and he had the platform to influence public discourse in meaningful ways. Yet, with this influence came responsibility. Tucker felt the weight of his words more acutely, aware that what he said could have a significant impact on his audience and beyond. He strove to use his platform wisely, to foster informed discussions, and to highlight stories that might otherwise be overlooked. However, Fame also meant facing criticism on a scale Tucker had never experienced before. In the age of social media, feedback was immediate and not always constructive. Tucker had to develop a thick skin, learning to differentiate between valid critique that could help him grow and the noise that could distract him from his purpose. This was not an easy task. It required resilience, self-reflection, and a steadfast commitment to his values. The realities of fame tested Tucker's relationships, both personal and professional. His partner, family, and close friends had to navigate the new dynamics that fame brought into their lives. They became his support system, offering love, understanding, and a sense of normalcy amidst the chaos. Professionally, Tucker's relationships with colleagues and mentors evolved. While some were supportive, Others were competitive, viewing his success with envy. Tucker had to learn to navigate these complex interpersonal dynamics, staying true to himself and his mission as a journalist. Fame also challenged Tucker's sense of identity. He had always defined himself through his work, his passion for journalism, and his commitment to truth. But as his public persona grew, Tucker sometimes found himself wondering how much of him was the journalist that the public saw and how much was the man behind the stories. This internal struggle was a constant process of self-discovery, of reconciling the public expectations with his own aspirations and values. Despite the challenges, Tucker found ways to leverage his fame for positive impact. He used his platform to advocate for causes he believed in, to support emerging journalists, and to amplify voices that were often marginalized in mainstream media. This was his way of giving back, of ensuring that his fame served a purpose beyond his own career advancement. Navigating fame was a journey of learning for Tucker. He learned the importance of boundaries, of carving out space for his personal life amidst the demands of his public role. He learned the value of humility, of remembering where he came from and who helped him along the way. And perhaps most importantly, he learned the power of resilience, of staying true to his principles even when faced with the pressures of public life. As Tucker reflected on his journey, he realized that fame was just one part of his story. It brought opportunities and challenges, joys and trials. But at its core, his story was about a passion for journalism, a commitment to truth, and a desire to make a difference. Fame was a tool, a means to an end, and Tucker was determined to use it to further the causes he cared about, to continue growing as a journalist and as a person, 
and to navigate the complexities of public life with integrity and grace. Chapter 13 The Innovator In a world where journalism constantly evolves, Tucker stood at the forefront, pushing boundaries and experimenting with new ways to tell stories. His journey into innovation wasn't just about keeping up with trends. It was about setting them, about reimagining what journalism could be in an ever-changing digital landscape. Tucker's innovative spirit led him to explore a variety of new formats. He saw potential in podcasts, a medium that allowed for deep dives into topics that couldn't be fully explored in a traditional news segment. Tucker's podcast series became a space for storytelling that was rich, nuanced and engaging. He invited experts, thought leaders and ordinary people with extraordinary stories, creating a tapestry of voices that offered listeners a 360-degree view of the issues at hand. But Tucker didn't stop there. He ventured into the world of interactive journalism, where stories were not just told, but experienced. He launched a digital platform that combined articles, videos, and interactive elements, allowing readers to engage with the content in a more dynamic way. This approach not only made stories more engaging, but also helped audiences understand complex issues through visualization and participation. One of Tucker's most ambitious projects was a documentary series that explored global issues through a local lens. He traveled to different parts of the world, capturing stories of resilience, innovation, and challenge. These documentaries were not just about showcasing problems. They were about highlighting solutions, about showing how individuals and communities were making a difference. Tucker's work in this area brought attention to stories that were often overlooked, giving voice to those on the front lines of change. Innovation for Tucker also meant experimenting with topics that were traditionally considered outside the purview of mainstream journalism. He delved into the intersection of technology and society, exploring how innovations were shaping the future and what that meant for everyday people. He tackled environmental issues, not just from the perspective of challenges, but also focusing on the advancements being made in sustainable living and green technology. Tucker's approach to innovation was not without challenges. Experimenting with new formats and topics meant taking risks, and not all of them paid off. There were projects that didn't resonate with audiences as much as he had hoped, and initiatives that were ahead of their time. But Tucker viewed these not as failures, but as learning opportunities as stepping stones towards finding what worked. His efforts to innovate in journalism were driven by a belief that the core mission of journalism, to inform, to enlighten, and to provoke thought, remained constant, even as the methods of achieving that mission evolved. Tucker saw himself as a bridge between the traditional values of journalism and the possibilities opened up by new technologies and formats. Tucker's work as an innovator also involved mentoring the next generation of journalists. He encouraged young reporters to think creatively, to question the status quo, and to explore new ways of telling stories. He shared his experiences, the successes and the setbacks, as lessons in the importance of resilience and vision in the pursuit of innovation. As Tucker continued to experiment and innovate, he contributed to a broader conversation about the future of journalism. His work challenged his peers to think differently, to embrace change, and to explore new possibilities for engaging with audiences. Tucker's legacy as an innovator was not just in the projects he launched or the formats he experimented with. It was in his ability to inspire others to see journalism not just as a profession, but as a constantly evolving art form. Reflecting on his journey, Tucker realized that innovation in journalism was not just about adopting new technologies or jumping on the latest trends. It was about asking the right questions, 
about being curious and open-minded and about finding new ways to tell stories that matter. In a world where information is abundant but attention is scarce, Tucker's efforts to innovate were ultimately about ensuring that journalism remained relevant, impactful and capable of making a difference in society. Through his work, Tucker showed that being an innovator in journalism was not about discarding the old in favor of the new, but about building on the foundations of the past to create a future where stories are told in more engaging, more impactful, and more meaningful ways. Chapter 14. Challenges and Triumphs. Throughout his career, Tucker encountered a roller coaster of challenges and triumphs that tested not just his skills as a journalist, but the very convictions that drove him. Each hurdle brought with it a lesson, and each victory, a reminder of why he embarked on this journey in the first place. One of Tucker's most significant challenges came when he tackled a story that hit close to home, questioning the ethics of an industry he had always admired. This investigation put him in the crosshairs of powerful figures who did not hesitate to push back. Tucker faced legal threats, a smear campaign aimed at discrediting his work, and even personal attacks. It was a period of intense pressure, one that made him question the impact of his work and the potential consequences on his loved ones. But Tucker's conviction, his unwavering belief in the importance of truth, kept him anchored. He continued his investigation, bolstered by the support of his team, who stood by him against the onslaught. The story eventually broke, shedding light on practices that had long been hidden from the public eye. It was a moment of triumph, not just for Tucker, but for journalism itself. The story led to reforms and sparked a nationwide conversation about ethics and accountability. Another challenge came from within. Tucker grappled with burnout after years of relentless work. The constant cycle of chasing stories, the weight of public scrutiny, and the pressure to innovate took its toll. Tucker found himself questioning his passion for journalism, wondering if the sacrifices were worth it. This period of self-doubt was one of the toughest battles Tucker faced. A fight not against external forces, but against his own inner turmoil. The path to overcoming this burnout was slow and filled with introspection. Tucker took a step back, allowing himself the time to reflect on his journey, the stories he had told, and the impact they had made. He reconnected with the reasons he became a journalist, finding solace in the small victories, the lives changed, the injustices brought to light. This period of reflection rekindled Tucker's passion for journalism, leading him to return with a renewed sense of purpose. Tucker's career was also marked by moments of profound triumph. One such moment came when a story he had worked on for years, tracing the impact of environmental degradation on a remote community, received international recognition. The story not only won awards, but also led to tangible change, with new environmental protections being put in place and support flowing into the community. It was a stark reminder of the power of journalism to affect real-world change and a moment of validation for Tucker, who had often wondered if his work made a difference. Through every challenge and triumph, Tucker learned valuable lessons. He learned that resilience is not just about weathering the storm, but about allowing oneself to be vulnerable, to ask for help when needed. He discovered the importance of balance, of finding moments of peace amid the chaos of a journalism career. And perhaps most importantly, he learned that failure and success are two sides of the same coin, both essential to growth and understanding. Tucker's journey through challenges and triumphs shaped him not just as a journalist but as a person, each obstacle he overcame and each victory he celebrated added layers to his character, deepening his empathy, strengthening his resolve, and sharpening his commitment to telling stories that matter. 
As Tucker reflected on his career, he saw a tapestry of experiences woven from moments of doubt and periods of achievement. These challenges and triumphs were not just milestones on a timeline. They were the very essence of his journey, integral to the narrative of a journalist who remained dedicated to uncovering the truth, no matter the cost. Tucker's story is a testament to the enduring power of journalism and a reminder that, in the end, it's not just the stories we tell that define us, but the challenges we face and the triumphs we achieve in telling them. Chapter 15. The Future of Journalism As Tucker looked ahead, the future of journalism unfolded in his mind, a landscape brimming with both promise and peril. He saw a world where technology continued to reshape how stories were told and consumed, where the lines between fact and fiction blurred and where the role of journalists was more critical than ever. Tucker's reflections on the future of journalism were tinged with optimism. He envisioned a new era of storytelling, powered by advances in digital media, where immersive experiences brought stories to life in ways previously unimaginable. He imagined virtual reality reports that placed viewers in the heart of the story, interactive articles that adapted to each reader's interests, and data journalism that made complex issues accessible and engaging. For Tucker, these innovations were not just about leveraging technology. They were about deepening the connection between journalists and their audience, making the news more personal, more relatable, and ultimately more impactful. But with optimism came concern. Tucker worried about the growing challenge of misinformation, a tide of fake news that threatened to erode public trust in the media. He saw the spread of misinformation not just as a technological issue but as a societal one, requiring journalists to not only fact-check but also to educate their audience on how to critically evaluate information. Tucker envisioned journalism taking on a more proactive role in combating misinformation, using its platforms to foster media literacy and to build a more informed, discerning public. Another concern for Tucker was the economic pressures facing the journalism industry. He witnessed firsthand the struggle of many outlets to adapt to the digital age, where traditional revenue models were upended and the competition for attention was fierce. Tucker hoped for innovative solutions that could sustain quality journalism, models that valued depth over speed, substance over sensationalism. He saw potential in community-supported journalism, in collaborations between outlets to share resources and in leveraging technology to find new revenue streams. Despite these challenges, Tucker remained hopeful about the future of journalism. He believed in the resilience of the industry and its ability to adapt and evolve. Tucker saw a new generation of journalists coming up, digital natives who were fluent in the language of the internet and who brought fresh perspectives to the field. He was excited about the diversity of voices entering journalism, voices that reflected a broader spectrum of experiences and perspectives, enriching the stories told and the issues covered. Tucker also reflected on his own role in shaping the future of journalism. He saw himself as a mentor, sharing his experiences and lessons learned with young journalists, encouraging them to pursue their passion for storytelling with integrity and purpose. Tucker wanted to be a catalyst for change, advocating for journalism that prioritised truth over clicks, that held power to account, and that served the public interest. As he looked to the future, Tucker was committed to continuing his work, to pushing the boundaries of what journalism could be. He wanted to explore new formats, to tackle challenging stories, and to engage with his audience in meaningful ways. Tucker saw the future of journalism not as a distant horizon, but as a path he was actively helping to shape, one story at a time. In his reflections, Tucker realised that the future of journalism was not just about adapting to change, 
It was about leading it. It was about holding fast to the core values of the profession, accuracy, independence, fairness, while embracing the opportunities presented by a rapidly changing world. Tucker's vision for the future was one of hope, a belief that journalism would continue to play a vital role in society, illuminating the truth, fostering dialogue, and bringing people closer to the world around them. The future of journalism, as seen through Tucker's eyes, was a journey fraught with challenges, but also filled with immense potential. It was a future where journalism not only survived, but thrived, powered by innovation, driven by purpose, and anchored by a commitment to the truth. And Tucker, with his unwavering passion and his pioneering spirit, was ready to lead the way. Chapter 16 Legacy and Beyond As Tucker gazed into the horizon of his career, he began to ponder the legacy he wished to leave behind. It wasn't just about the stories he had told or the accolades he had received. It was about the impact he hoped to have on future generations of journalists. Tucker envisioned a legacy that went beyond his individual achievements, one that inspired and guided those who would follow in his footsteps. Tucker hoped to be remembered not just as a journalist who sought the truth, but as a mentor who nurtured the next wave of storytellers. He had always believed in the power of journalism to change the world, and he wanted to pass on this belief to young journalists. Tucker imagined a future where these aspiring reporters and editors carried forward the torch of investigative journalism, armed with the values of integrity, courage and perseverance he had championed throughout his career. In reflecting on his legacy, Tucker was keenly aware of the challenges facing journalism today, from the proliferation of misinformation to the financial struggles of media organizations. He hoped his career would serve as a beacon, showing that it was possible to navigate these challenges with ethics and determination. Tucker wished for his legacy to include a roadmap for sustaining quality journalism in the face of adversity, demonstrating that innovation, adaptability, and a deep commitment to the public good could lead the way. Moreover, Tucker envisioned his impact extending beyond the confines of newsrooms and journalism schools. He wanted to influence the way society valued and engaged with the news. Tucker hoped to leave behind a public that was more informed, more critical in their consumption of media, and more engaged in the democratic process. He saw his role not just in reporting the news, but in fostering a culture of informed citizenship, where people understood the importance of truth in sustaining a healthy democracy. Tucker also dreamed of contributing to a more diverse and inclusive journalism landscape. He recognized the importance of diverse voices in telling the full story of our world, and he hoped his efforts to mentor and support journalists from varied backgrounds would help break down the barriers that still existed in the industry. Tucker wanted his legacy to reflect a commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, ensuring that the future of journalism was as rich and varied as the society it aimed to serve. As he considered the impact he wished to have on future generations, Tucker understood that his legacy would not be defined by his intentions alone, but by the actions he took. He was committed to continuing his work with passion and integrity, to pushing the boundaries of what journalism could achieve, and to supporting and uplifting those around him. Tucker believed that by living his values every day, he could help shape the future of journalism in a way that made a lasting difference. Looking ahead, Tucker saw his legacy not as a monument to his past achievements, but as a living, evolving influence on the world of journalism and beyond. He envisioned a future where journalists approached their work with the same zeal for truth, the same commitment to ethics, and the same compassion for the people whose stories they told. Tucker hoped that his career would serve as an inspiration for these future journalists a reminder that despite the challenges and changes, the core mission of journalism, to inform, to illuminate, 
to question remains unchanged. In the end, Tucker's reflections on his legacy and the impact he hoped to have on future generations were rooted in a deep love for journalism and a profound belief in its power to make a difference. As he looked to the future, Tucker was filled with hope, knowing that the seeds he had planted through his work would continue to grow, shaping the landscape of journalism in ways he could only imagine. His legacy, he realized, was not just in the stories he had told, but in the future stories that would be told because of the path he had helped to pave. And so, we reach the end of Tucker's remarkable journey, a tale that has taken us through the highs and lows of a career in journalism and the personal growth that comes with facing the world's truths. Tucker's story is one of determination, innovation and the unwavering pursuit of integrity, offering lessons not just for aspiring journalists, but for anyone navigating the complexities of their own path. We hope Tucker's journey has inspired you enriched your English learning experience and provided insights into the ever-evolving world of journalism. Your journey with English doesn't have to end here. We encourage you to dive deeper, to explore more stories and to continue enhancing your skills. If Tucker's story resonated with you or if you have thoughts and reflections to share, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Your insights and experiences enrich our community, providing new perspectives and encouraging others on their learning journey. And if you've enjoyed this story, please show your support with a like. It helps us know what content resonates with you, so we can create more of it. For those eager to explore more stories like Tucker's, visit wuenglish.com. There. You'll find a collection of stories available for download in PDF format, each designed to support your English learning journey with engaging narratives and clear, simple language. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. Your enthusiasm and engagement make Wu English a vibrant community of learners. Together, let's continue to discover the power of stories, unlocking new levels of English proficiency and exploring the world through the lens of language.